The member for Member Cook, Tantramar. Mr. Speaker, as I see successive IPCC reports sound the alarm bells on the climate crisis even louder, as they see the number of degrees of expected warming by 2100 creep up from the stated goal of 1.5 to stay alive to well over 2 degrees Celsius, as they see the number of the COPs go up, now the 27th Conference of Parties is about to meet, the sense of climate dread and eco-anxiety is increasing too. And yet, this government wants to frack? Not only do we face a climate crisis, Mr. Speaker, and we shouldn't be investing in any new fossil fuel infrastructure, but fracking puts our water at risk, Mr. Speaker, and pollutes our air. To frack is to ignore science. So, Mr. Speaker, my question is how can the Minister of Environment and Climate Change justify fracking? Mr. Natural Resources and Energy Development. Mr. Speaker, to the member opposite, the more I hear the member from Member Cook ask questions in the House, the more it seems evident that she's never had to meet a payroll or be accountable to a bottom line. Here in the province of New Brunswick in 2018, those of us that are in the House back then remember that we clearly identified in our platform that we ran and won on that we were going to be committed to the development of our natural resources in a responsible fashion. Responsible is absent from any of the comments from the member opposite. We are committed to that exploration. In fact, if a private sector company anywhere saw that there was opportunities and they were responsible to shareholders and they did not explore opportunities, then they would be held accountable. To that and especially as it relates to energy futures when we see what's taking place in the global energy crisis we will explore all avenues to explore our natural resources in a responsible way and we will not do that with any kind of shame coming from anybody else because we have to do that and we have to do it right member cook tantamar mr speaker they should be ashamed talking about shareholders, talking about profits over people, over the future of our children and our grandchildren and future generations. This is ridiculous, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, and talking about LNG and trying to send, send this gas elsewhere, it won't even meet the needs that, that, are, um, that Europe has right now. This is absolutely unacceptable to put profits over people. And Mr. Speaker, I remind this government that I stand here, we stand here on the unceded and unsurrendered Wolostuk territory, and I live on unceded and unsurrendered Mi'kmaq territory, and I remind this government we are all treaty people, we are governed by peace and friendship treaties, and to quote Chief Rebecca Knockwood of Umlamgug, all we heard in the, referring to the throne speech was a recycled and inaccurate argument that natural gas under unceded and unsurrendered Wabanaki land is less harmful for the environment. There's no evidence this province can develop this natural gas supply responsible. Time number. <laughs> Minister of Natural Resources and Energy Development. Mr. Speaker, that sounded quite harsh, but I fail to have heard a question from it. But I will explain a few things as it relates to the file of natural resources. We are accountable to a bottom line when we form government in the province of New Brunswick. And somebody that has not ever done that and that makes statements like that, that is irresponsible because we have to in all forms. And we're not just talking about the development of natural gas. We're not just talking about the development of natural resources. Responsibility will be the key behind that. She refers to uh, First Nations. We understand completely the need to be with First Nations as it relates to the development of natural resources. We understand completely the need to be responsible with environmental stewardship when it comes to the development of any of these resources. To stand there and just talk about it in a fashion that is not productive or proactive or even collaborative, that's irresponsible. I'll take the approach of doing it responsible all day long, Mr. 